What if things went differently? What if when Peter was feeling down and talking to Mysterio in the pub and offered Edith to Mysterio, he never actually gave it? Welcome back. In this video, I will be covering the events of what would have happened if things were different. A fair warning, this video does not cover what actually happened, it is merely fan fiction. With that being said, let's get right into it. The glass Peter holds feels so very cold against his skin as he stares at it in the dimly lit club. He has just finished fighting off yet another elemental, and the pressure of living up to his mentor, Tony Stark, Iron Man, weighs heavily on him. He talks to Mysterio about his stresses as Mysterio also holds a glass. He tells Mysterio that Nick Fury's expectations for him to be the next Iron Man are impossible, that there's no way that he can live up to Tony Stark. Mysterio asks Peter what he truly wants, to which Peter replies that he just wants to enjoy his school trip and maybe even confess to MJ. But he says that he cannot because he has too many responsibilities. At that moment, a lady walks by, telling Peter that he dropped his glasses. Peter takes it and thanks her as Mysterio asks him what those are. Peter sighs, holding and looking at Edith, the glasses Iron Man left to him. He tells Mysterio that these glasses once belonged to Tony Stark and that he gave them to him when he died. Mysterio laughs and tells Peter to put it on, so he does. Mysterio asks Peter if he can be honest with him, and Peter tells him to. Mysterio then proceeds to say that the glasses look stupid on Peter. Peter gives a short laugh and takes them off as he tells Mysterio to wear them. Mysterio immediately refuses and says that he could not possibly do that. However, after some more pressure from Peter, Mysterio finally puts them on. When Peter sees Mysterio in the glasses, he starts to second guess himself. He remembers the note Iron Man left for him with the glasses. For the next Tony Stark, I trust you. Peter starts thinking that maybe, just maybe, Iron Man was wrong or that he himself got it all wrong. Maybe Iron Man truly did not trust Peter with Edith and merely gave it to him to give to someone else he thought would be Iron Man. This is where the fan fiction starts. Instead of Peter insisting that Mysterio keep Edith like in the movie, in this fan fiction, Peter sighs. Peter thinks that he knows what he must do. Give Mysterio Edith. However, feeling a little nostalgic remembering his former mentor, he asks Mysterio if he can wear Edith one last time. Mysterio insists that he should and gives Peter Edith back. Peter sighs and looks at the glasses. The glasses his mentor used to wear and rely on and puts them on for what he thinks will be the last time. He looks at Mysterio through Edith, the new Iron Man. But just as Peter is about to take Edith off, he hears Tony Stark's voice. He tilts his head in confusion as Mysterio asks him what it was wrong. Peter tells Mysterio that he can hear Mr. Stark's voice through Edith. Mysterio raises a brow and asks Peter what Iron Man is saying. Peter frowns and concentrates as he tries to listen to the message. The message, recorded by Tony Stark long before he passed away, tells Peter that he should not give Edith away. Peter's surprised that Edith knows what he was about to do and plays Tony Stark's message. Right before Peter is about to tell Mysterio that Edith is telling him to not give the glasses over to whatever reason, Edith suddenly starts scanning Mysterio. Edith tells Peter that Mysterio used to work for Iron Man and that he holds grudges against Tony Stark. Peter is surprised, but then he starts to connect the dots. He realizes that this is maybe why Mysterio is so willing to accept Edith, because it was his plan all along. Peter starts to understand that Mysterio only befriended him in hopes of gaining Edith. Peter suddenly stumbles back from his seat and Mysterio rises. Mysterio frowns as he asks Peter what's wrong. Peter shakes his head and holds his stomach, pretends to cry out and says that his stomach hurts 
that he should be heading back to the hotel. Peter starts taking steps back as Mysterio advances towards him, hands out, ready to support Peter, who looks like he is about to fall over at any moment. Peter nods hurriedly and dashes out of the club immediately. As soon as Peter leaves his view, the club melts to reveal that it was an illusion. Mysterio's staff starts asking him why he lost Edith. Mysterio frowns and says that Peter has found out about his tricks. He starts ordering that they send drones out to find Peter before Peter manages to get a hold of Nick Fury or the rest of the Avengers to tell them what is going on. Meanwhile, Peter is running as fast as he can towards the hotel. He starts telling Edith to help him find the fastest routes he can in while asking her to do some research on Mysterio. While he is doing this, Peter assesses that if Mysterio was a ploy, then the elementals must be fake too. He asks Edith to pull up an image of one of the elementals and to analyze it. Edith reports that the elemental seems to be full of drones and concludes that it was an illusion. Peter mentally scolds himself for not noticing this as he runs faster. Soon, he reaches the hotel, Ned in his room, pacing. When he sees Peter slamming the door shut, he jumps to his feet. Ned instantly asks Peter if he's okay and if anything is wrong. Peter frantically draws the curtains as he tells Ned about the elementals and Mysterio. Ned gasps and asks Peter what is he going to do now? Peter panics since he really has no idea what he should do now. He asks Edith if there is any way she can disable the drones. Edith says there is a way, but she has to be connected to the software. Peter groans before remembering that Ned is a whiz at technology. He quickly turns to Ned and asks if he can get Edith connected to the software. Ned says he can, but it might take some time. Ned hurriedly pulls out a computer and asks Peter for Edith so he can start the connection. Peter does so and starts pacing around, barricading the door and covering the windows more tightly in case Mysterio comes after him. Sure enough, there is a sound of commotion outside the doors within minutes. Peter looks at Ned in fear as Ned quickly types on the keyboard. Ned tells Peter that the connection is in progress, but that it's only at 57% and it will take a while more and that they must wait. Peter sighs and paces more quickly as there are bangs against the door, the sound of drones trying to break in. He glances at Ned, who looks back at him, telling him to hold on just a little longer. Peter groans in frustration as he quickly takes off his night monkey suit and puts on his Spider-Man one, ready to fight the drones. The door eventually gives way, and Peter starts shooting them with spider webs. Not long after, Ned yells that Edith is done connecting to the drone. Peter quickly shoots down as many drones as he can before he shouts for Ned to throw him Edith. He catches Edith and quickly puts the glasses on. He tells Edith to start canceling and deactivating the drones just as the drone gets ready to fire a shot at him. The drone before Peter suddenly starts shaking before it falls. All the drones fall as they become deactivated and Peter turns, grinning at Ned. He tells Ned to stay put as he jumps over the drones, telling Edith to tell him where is Mysterio. Edith gives him directions and Peter starts slinging and swinging his way over. He reaches an abandoned warehouse and shouts for Mysterio to show himself. From behind a pillar, Mysterio steps out. Behind him, drones trail along. Peter does not have time to ask how they are not deactivated because the drones started shooting at him. He ducked, rolling along the ground before jumping up to disable drones. As he was fighting against the drones and ducking and avoiding their shots, he heard Mysterio yelp at a distance. Peter quickly wraps the rest of the drones in spiderweb before standing up again, panting and gasping for air. A few meters away, he sees Mysterio on the cement ground, clutching his stomach. Mysterio gives a grim smile as he sees Peter approach him. He tells Peter to just finish the job and kill him. Peter shakes his head and stands over Mysterio. He tells Mysterio that he will call the rest of the Avengers to deal with him. Before Mysterio can reply, Peter shoots his web at the building and swings away, feeling glad that he found out about Mysterio's ruse just in time. And there we have it. What would have happened had Peter not given Mysterio Edith? 
Once again, this is purely fan fiction, it's not what happened in the Marvel Cinematic Universe where Spider-Man actually did give Mysterio Edith. And that is all for this video, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment down below your thoughts in this scenario or what you think would have happened. Until then, take care and stay safe.